Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, I stopped by Michael's and unbeknownst to me, I was surprised because they not only had Valentine's Day decor, as you see me showing you right here, they had St. Patrick's Day and they had Easter. So I thought I would spend some time and I got some video footage to show you guys because I wanted to make sure that you knew that Michael's was in full force on the Valentine's, Easter, and St. Patrick's Day decor. Valentine's Day decor is already 30% off. They had all of their Valentine's Day decor up front of the store, which I thought was weird because they had so much Christmas decor, you guys, still in stock that it was in their regular area and it's all 70% off. I did not show that today but I was really surprised at the amount they still had left. Lots of cute Valentine's Day decor. I did not get any today. Um, I'm trying to cut down on my things that I buy because I already have so much of it, but there are so many cute ideas. Lots of cute Valentine's Day picks, and you could do like vase filler with a lot of these items, just some really cute stuff. Valentine's Day, I want to say the past, well, this February 13th, that it'll be 11 years. And it's so hard for me to believe because it just seems like yesterday. But I lost my dad 11 years ago on February 13th in 2013. If you can believe that, two sets of the number 13. And um, two weeks after that, my 17 year relationship, we split up. So 2013 was a very difficult time for me. So Valentine's Day has always been kind of a difficult one for me. So not to go on with any more sadness, just I haven't really ever decorated a lot for Valentine's Day. I put up a few things here and there, but I like to do like a in memory of my dad type of thing if that makes sense to you all. Um, I'm pretty big on doing that for my mom and dad now that they're both passed away. So anyways, I do decorate a lot for St. Patrick's Day because I am Irish and my mom's father was actually from Ireland and he immigrated over and um, I never met him. He had passed away before I was born but yeah, that's where I get my Irish from. So every St. Patrick's Day is pretty big in my household. And I do do a pretty good St. Patrick's Day decorate with me video. Now you can kind of see that I'm kind of doubling back over some areas. I have already gone over with the camera showing you in the video. I just wanted to make sure that I showed close ups too. I didn't like hold things and show a lot of the prices just because people were watching me and I was feeling kind of awkward. They were wondering what I was doing. So I tried to be discreet and get the best video footage that I could. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating as a YouTuber when you're taking video footage, you feel kind of silly because people are watching you and they're wondering what you're doing. And then I had my oxygen on my shoulder. So those of you that are new that are watching me, if you don't know, I always like to give a quick explanation when I talk about my oxygen. I am on oxygen because I got COVID pneumonia two years ago and I have scarred lungs from that and it requires me to be on oxygen. If you wanna go back and learn more, I did do a video about it and that should be in my video library but Michael's had a lot of really cute Valentine's Day stuff, especially if you have young kids and you want to make your own Valentine's with them for them to give to their friends. They had really cute wrapping paper. They had those Valentine's stamps. I used to have quite the stamping collection. I actually used to make my own cards. So here we are in some of their newer decor. This was a really nice collection. I really did like it. 
Um, again, I don't need any more decor. I am trying to go through a lot of stuff right now with the new year. I'm big on getting rid of a bunch of stuff because I know when Halloween comes, your girl is going to be buying more Halloween. Now these cute little pots right here, they are a total anthropology dupe and I've been seeing that at quite a few places. Um, over the holiday, Home Goods had some white pots that were like the anthropology dupe ones that were really cute and just you can pretty much find those pots anywhere. Now they had this vintage girly collection I thought was really cute for springtime for Valentine's Day. I did like the shelf. They actually sold a shelf like a year ago that I was on the hunt for. I really wanted it. It looked really spooky, but I could not find it anywhere. I only saw it online and it sold out super quickly and it was white and I wanted to paint it black, but I could never find it. And I thought that was going to be a close second, but it was too small. These were almost like a glass bead garland. I have some of the glass beads and they are really cool, especially like for if you want to do a beachy theme in your house. This candle, it's a candle. I thought it was so cool, but I would be afraid because I live in Arizona that it would melt or something would happen to it. One of my cats would knock it over. It would break, but I did really like that. So yeah, I would definitely call this more of their vintage, girly, kind of a romantic line, so to speak. So this collection, yeah, it was very, very cute. I mean, I guess you could also use some of this stuff if you were getting married as well as some decor. I mean, there's just so many possibilities with this, but I think this is like a very romantic looking vintage line and I did really like it. Now these cages down here on the end, I actually, an idea clicked in my head. I have some black cages like that and for St. Patrick's Day, I actually use the cages and here we are going into the St. Patrick's Day decor. Um, I use the, I have my black cage and I put a um, shamrock and I put some gold coins and a leprechaun inside the cage like we trapped a leprechaun with his gold. So that's a kind of a cute way to decorate if you would like to go back and watch my St. Patrick's Day decorating video I do believe that I do show that I did that last year and the year before so I will link that video in the description box down below and if you are not subscribed to my channel I would like to invite you to subscribe it is free I have a lot of fun over here my subscribers have a lot of fun with me um, I did run a contest over Christmas that was a lot of fun so I don't want you to miss out I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. Now the St. Patrick's Day decor was really, really cute, but I have a lot of St. Patrick's Day decor, so I didn't really see anything that I was going to get today, but we still have time and I'm sure I will be back checking it out, but I do love St. Patrick's Day decor and that's because I'm Irish and I like to hold up that tradition on my mom's side of the family by making sure that I put some St. Patrick's Day decor out and I celebrate for her and her dad. I actually have those um, floral stakes I just showed. Those are great. I have a bunch of them and they're really good quality. The ones that are right in front of me right there. And I love the green flowers. Very, very cute. Do you remember when the grocery store used to sell like white carnations and they would dye them green? I can't find those anymore. I remember when grocery stores used to do that like all the time. So they had some shamrock confetti that was really cool. 
I mean, I can see that they have some new things that they're coming out with. But a lot of this stuff, like right there, those leprechauns, those I've seen before, as well as that welcome sign, the shamrock wreath. They have a lot of the same stuff that they've had in years past. The lucky shamrocks. These pillows were really cute. So, yeah, they're coming out. Michael's is coming out with some really great stuff. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys everything that I found so you can go check out your local Michaels for yourself. And believe me, don't wait on it because by the time you get there, if you wait too long, all the stuff is gone. Now, I was so pleasantly surprised when I turned the corner and they had started putting out Easter. But I want to say Easter is coming early this year. I think it's at the I have to look at my calendar again but I think it's like at the end of March which is really surprising it's coming super early this year but they had a lot of really cute decor out um I went through my Easter decor actually last season and I got rid of a bunch of it just because my kids are grown and I don't really I just do kind of the basics with my Easter decor now I used to have a lot of those green felt rabbits and I got rid of a bunch of them and a bunch of like my bunny decor so now I just do like really really basic I do have some decorating videos about that as well and I will link that in the description box below if you want to go back out back and check my years past decorating at Easter Looking at all this decor brings back so many memories when my kids were little. I used to enjoy so much going out and buying stuff for their Easter baskets. I would do like theme related baskets each year. Now I still do an Easter basket for my daughter every year and I do the same thing. I do theme related and to give you guys a few ideas like my daughter lives in California and she loves the beach. She's a total beach girl, so I had bought her a beach bag that said life is a beach and I put Easter grass in it and I filled it with everything she would need at the beach. Like I got her a beach towel, I got her flip flops, suntan lotion, sunscreen, I put candy in it. I believe I did a video about it. Um, I do have some of my videos set to private because I was kind of playing around with YouTube. Um, and that might be one of the videos that I have set to private, but, um, yeah, I did kind of set some of my videos to private. If you are wondering what happened to my collection, I still have them. I just set a bunch to private just because they were older videos. So these Easter rabbits I thought were very cute, very boho, and that's kind of my style, um, I actually, I do have a few bunnies that I did get from Cost Plus World Market. They are ceramic and they are kind of boho looking. I love them. And, you know, that's pretty much all I need is just simple decor for Easter. But anyways, I love doing theme Easter baskets. I think they're so much fun. And when my kids were young, I used to do the same thing. So... And these Easter baskets are absolutely adorable. Now, another thing I did too, and this is a tradition if you are a mom with young kids, something to think about is I love these carrots too. I have a bunch of these carrots that I decorate. These were new. I had never seen these before. I thought that was very inventive as well as these right here. I thought were very cute. And below me, you'll see, I show they have like a big head of cabbage. Or did I already show it? I was talking too much. I miss. Oh, no. Here I go. I'm going to show the bottom shelf, hopefully. Now, I think I did already show it. See, I'm losing my mind, you guys. But they had like a big head of cabbage. And you could decorate your like table for brunch with those type of items and it could be really cute but going back to what i was starting to say about theme um easter baskets um i for my boys 
I would do something related to their interests. And for my daughter, I would do something like my daughter really loved Hello Kitty. So I would do like a Hello Kitty basket for her. Or if we were going on a trip that summer, I would do like, you know, just cute stuff and individual things for each one of them. Now, one thing that we did do, and this is what I wanted to tell you moms. So every year you do not have to go out and buy a new Easter basket every year. My kids all each had a big, huge Easter basket. My boys had a blue one and my daughter had a white one. And every year they would put it out on the counter and leave it for the Easter bunny. Because I would always say, you know, you got to clean, make sure your Easter basket's cleaned out and put it on the counter so your so the Easter bunny has it. And every year they would do that and I would just reuse the same Easter basket. It was a lot better than having to waste money each year and go out and buy a new Easter basket. And these were pretty good sized baskets and they were durable. And I just did that every year with them. And another thing that I did, which they absolutely loved... Now, you can't really do this if you have, like, animals, but my kids, I would, like, sprinkle jelly beans all over the floor like the Easter bunny was bouncing around the house when he was hiding the Easter baskets. And my kids would get up, and they would, like, be so excited. They'd be like, Mom, look, he came here. And sometimes I would sneak in their bedroom, and I would sprinkle a little bit in their bedroom, and they'd be like, Mom, he was in our room. So it was just really cute you know, to kind of think of different things to do for Easter. But my kids were always so super excited. But yeah, don't you don't have to go out every year and spend all that extra money and buy a new Easter basket each year. Just use the same Easter basket and recycle it. That's what I did. They had some really great floral picks. I loved all the floral picks this season. I'm going to show you, um, a, I bought a bunch of these and the carrots and the bag. Well, I'm going to come around and I'm going to show you. Towards the end, I believe that it, they say bunny bait. They were adorable and I put them around my house last year in flower pots. And I absolutely love them. These guys right here, I bought a bunch of those last year. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, happy decorating.